Hi, this is Ramachandran from onlinemathforall.com. In this video, we are going to see how to solve depreciation problems uh, using geometric sequence. Here we have we have the problem on the board. That is, uh, a company purchases a machine for fifty thousand dollars. It is estimated that the machine depreciates in its value at a rate of uh, fifteen percent per year. Find the value of the machine after fifteen years. So that is uh, we have to find the value of the machine at the end of fifteenth year. Okay, so we are going to see how this problem on depreciation can be solved using geometric sequence. Uh, one second. Okay, since I am going to use uh, geometric is uh, geometric sequence to solve this problem, first let me write uh, the formula of nth term uh, in geometric sequence. So the formula for nth term of a geometric sequence is T n is equal to r to the power n negative one. Here, uh, actually, in geometric sequence, uh, uh, the alphabet A stands for the first term. But uh, when we do depreciation problem using geometric sequence, A stands for the initial cost of the machine or initial cost of the asset. So in our problem, the value of A is fifty thousand because that is the initial cost of the machine. So in this formula, we can replace A by fifty thousand. And here, our next question is, what is the value of R? So in geometric sequence, R stands for common ratio. But uh, when we do this kind of depreciation problem, uh, so there is a method to get uh, value of R. So there is a common method uh, for uh, all kinds of problems on depreciation, not only for this particular problem. So in the problems of depreciation, to get the value of R, uh, we just have to get the decimal form of the given percentage. I mean the given rate. So the decimal form of the given rate is uh, 15 percentage uh, is equal to 15 over 100. So the decimal form of this one is 0 0.15. So the decimal form of the given percentage is 0, 0 0.15. So to find the value of R, what we have to do is we just have to subtract 0 0.15 from 1. So the students may have a question here. Uh, so for this particular problem, you have to subtract uh, 15 percentage. I mean the decimal form of 15 percentage from 1. So no, it's not for this particular problem. For any problem on depreciation, so to get the value of R, this is the way in which we have to do. So for any problem on depreciation, and uh, we are trying to solve the problem uh, using geometric sequence to find the value of R, we just have to subtract the decimal form of the given rate from one. It's just like a formula, and always we have to remember when we do uh, depreciation problems using geometric sequence. So when you subtract 0 0.15 from one, uh, you will get uh, 0 0.85. As a value for R, so R is equal to 0 0.85. So I hope now the students will be able to understand uh, how to get the value of R uh, when we do depreciation problems uh, using geometric sequence. So we just have to subtract a uh, decimal form from the one. So for all the problems uh, on depreciation, not for this particular problem. Okay, so now uh, we have T n is equal to fifty thousand times zero point eight five uh, to the power ne negative one. Here, our next question is, what does n stand for? So, uh, okay, I'll explain you. Uh, if I'm going to plug n is equal to one, uh, that will say the cost of the machine at the first year. If I plug n is equal to one, in case I'm going to plug n is equal to twenty, so uh, the value we get for n is equal to 20 uh, it will say so the value of the machine at the beginning of the 20th year so if you plug n is equal to 20 so it, it will give the value of the machine at the beginning of that particular year if you plug n is equal to 7 so it will give the value of the machine at the beginning of 7th year so I'll show you so now I am for example I am going to plug n is equal to 1 so t1 is equal to 50,000 times 0 0.85 to the power instead of n I am just going to plug n as I plug 1 1 negative 1 so t1 is equal to so 1 negative 1 will be 0 0.85 to the power 0 
so its value is 1 so 50,000 times 1 will be so we get 50,000 so already I told you if we plug n is equal to 5 so we will get the value of the machine at the beginning of fifth year so here I have plugged n is equal to 1 so we get the value of the machine at the first I mean at the beginning of the first year because at the beginning of the first year it's clearly fifty thousand dollars so it's given in the question so our aim is to find the value of the machine after five fifth after 15 years that is we are trying to find the value of the machine at the end of 15 years so to find the value of the machine at the end of 15 years we don't uh, we can't use this formula to find the value of uh, value of the machine at the end of 15 years because uh, so this formula can be used to find the value of the machine uh, only at the beginning of a particular year not at the end of a particular year so since they are asking us to find the value of the machine at the end of 15 years so we can uh, find the value of the machine at the beginning of the 16th year because the value of the machine at the beginning of the sixth year is nothing but the value of the machine at the end of 15 years I hope now the students will be able to understand uh, what I am trying to mean so my aim is to find the value of the machine after 15 years that is at the end of 15 years so to find the value of the machine at the end of 15 years whether we can find the value of the machine at the beginning of 16 years so to find the value of the machine at the beginning of the 16th year we just have to plug n is equal to 16 uh, I'll show you on the next page so t16 is equal to 50,000 times uh, 0 0.85 to the power 16 negative 1 so 50,000 times uh, so okay so if, if we simplify the uh, on second sorry so 0 0.85 to the power 16 minus 1 will be 15 sorry so the value uh, at the beginning of the value of the machine at the beginning of 16th year will be 4367.71 so this is the value of the machine at the beginning of 16th year so this is the value of the machine at the end of 15th year so here we can write the solution The value of the machine uh, after 15 years is equal to uh, 4367.71 dollars so whenever you want to find the value of the machine uh, after 15 years you just have to find the value of the machine at the beginning of 16th year so that is the value of the machine after 15th year 15 years or at the end of 15 years I hope now the students will be able to understand uh, how to solve depreciation problems uh, using geometric sequence Okay students, uh, for more videos like this, please visit www.onlinemathforall.com. Thank you.